Hello, 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 and welcome back. It's 8am. It's a lovely December morning. Bit of rain during the evening. For a change, our diary is a little bit clearer. Look, we have got a few things to do today. First off, um, last night when we finished, uh, we spoke to Barry at the BGA. Um, got in touch with one of his lads. They've dropped us something down that we can move out of the hotel from. So we've got digs to live at. So the wife's just packing everything up at the minute. She's going to meet us down at 47, which is the allotment bit. Um, I bought her a little present for her to get up and down from where we're going to be calling home for the next while to work so I bought this little vintage bike little strap on it for if she wants to carry anything bought a bucket as well while I was at the shop I said I'll pick them all up this morning you never know when you need a bucket for something Interesting. Strap that in. So we're going to take a lovely bike ride down to see our new home in time for Christmas. A little light on it, lovely stuff. Ooh, we'll go over that other little bridge this morning. It's a bit chilly for me, I'll be honest. It's December. But this is lovely. Oops. Don't tell me I can't get through that. Come on. Dapper with his flat cap and chinos. There we go. How nice is that? Lovely. We got a Fields rather. Field four. Very big. It's up there. I think we should close that gate. <laughs> Part of the country code. Here you go, mate. You've got the. Oh well. 
bike as quick as I can. Maybe we should have gone on the grass. Been a while since I've rode a bike. <laughs> no one getting out to help me. What a disappointment. He got run over there as well. through the bush if there's any sweet jumps we can take it on get your legs going a good old workout Not looked at the contracts today. Not yet. So we've got a few bits and bobs we can probably get done around our own area. It's a fence. Nearly, nearly. Quite nice. Not altogether sure what um, you could do with this parcel of land because it's terrain's a very undulating area obviously you own it you've got money coming in from it but oh we need to move our roller of his field we need to get all of the sugar beet up a little tidy up around here maybe take some of this bush down uh, the plow and the cultivator are here I think we're gonna need to prepare this field there's one task that we need to get done. I've not told her about the second tractor yet. Don't worry, I'm going to tell her. Just thought it's best if. If we cheer her up a bit with the um, temporary home, so she's got a place to call her own. And that I bought her a bike. It 
at the minute she's only got to walk across that main road and she's at work at Attingham Hall so a bike would be quite nice to get out in the countryside with the fresh air So what can we get done today? We've got to check the greenhouse, there might be some bits to do there. Bales could probably do with moving, we might. We might need to look at getting a trailer, something to move bales, potentially something to put um, products in. Uh, we'll need something to put that sugar beet on, or we'll need somewhere to pop it up. Should we sell the sugar beet? There's a question. That being in flux of money. Maybe look at. We could rent. There's an attachment that can turn chop the sugar beet, which will possibly make it more valuable. And we could put it in the BGA. And turn it into energy which we'll get a slice of uh, which way not come from this angle to the that's what I suppose is the new home I think it might be down that way but on this there's a little pass up here and it's this way isn't it because the bakery ah yeah we're down the side of this substation this is this the old massey Sure, that'll come in handy for bits and bobs. Uh, uh, running away. So I wonder. Do we own? Everything around the fence. I'm assuming. So do we get this bit with the tree? Who owns this bit past this little picket fence? Would be interesting to find out. Because potentially I would have thought this would be our boundary so maybe we could move that fence a bit a oh, little small holding uh, pH value is ok we're going to need to put nitrogen on there somehow uh, 
No. Got full crates. That's good. Strawberries and tomatoes. Very happy with that. Now, and not the fanciest. I did see this last night because I had to give the go ahead to bring it in. Bit of, bit of an issue trying to notch it in. But we brought it down. It should survive us through winter. Um, got the water, but oh, already got a bucket. We'd never have too many buckets. Right, I'm gonna need to do a bit of clearing up inside. But here we go. Make you a cup of tea, coffee pot. bits and bobs I'll put a tractor picture in there because um, it matches the surroundings uh, I've got bed a little wood burning stove so it's nice and toasty in the winter which will be handy She'll be quite happy with that. We'll see what she says when she gets down here. And hopefully she'll be really impressed with a little bike that she's got to get herself about on. Need to do a bit of clearing up in there. Clean that area off. But the options, what should we be doing today? look at some prices so what's values have we got is it, we do need to put nitrogen down is there wheat on that seems okay but we want a bit of nitrogen on that at some point um, not buying prices we have got sugar beets which are not far off the best price sweet potato will pay 145 per thousand litres cooked sugar beet is a hell of a lot more money but i guess we won't get anything for that but that's really good maybe we get something to cut it with I'm going to need somewhere to store it though and then we've got uh, uh, Strawberries again, not far off the best price. Mrs. Holland leaving the leading the run. Tomatoes is pretty good. Lettuce that'll be a good one when that comes out. Store it under there. We can leave it out for now, but not 
stacking them up. Right. Cut sugar beet. Not a lot on sales. Nothing that we can pull with our horsepower at present. Sugar beet options. Okay, it's a What is it? It's a, it cuts sugar beets, so it would be front loader tool. That's it. Fifteen thousand. Oh, we're gonna need to put it in something once we've done that. Maybe have a think about that. Unless we've got something else. Got the shovel. We don't need to bring any money in. So I'm thinking do we I'm gonna move this somewhere to impress her give her a little because I've got it tucked away and hidden if I put that there I'll give her a, a bit like a treasure hunt for her be quite nice hopefully the dynamo will keep that running for a bit should we move to sugar bean get ready for sort sorting that field out where did we move it to to remove it down here, we've got we cut it under storage here. That means we're going to need a trailer. And that because we're going to need front loader attacher. And this needs some diesel. Should we look at trailers? We're going to have to get one at some point, aren't we? No getting away from it. <laughs> Scrolling through the lowest prices, seven thousand liters of anything that will hold. That's quite good for six. Up to five thousand. That's a lot cheaper. But an extra two thousand is a. can do bales as well we can adjust that quite like that but that can do bales as well that's good and then just the standard is I think we go with that Oh, 
what colors? What colors? Staying with the reds. Stay with the red on that. Design color. I quite like that. But then I quite like that. Might be a little bit too garish. That looks quite vintage like that. Extra six pounds to paint the rims. No change on that, so we should just be able to change that for ourselves. We can put some bales on it as well if we're moving them. Let's go for it. There's some money spent, right? I wonder, should we have a look at the actual sizings around here? What sort of space do we have? To clear all that brush out, there's going to be a bit of space there. That tree's on that side of the fence. But if we have got up to there, I'm quite tempted to bring a fence out to there. Gives us a bit of space there for something if we've got that maybe look at chickens a little chicken coop put chickens there as well but then if they do run around they do occasionally escape so chickens out on the road isn't going to be very good chickens there could be a bit more safer and they've got the shade of the tree and the bush although we could have chickens up there as well we'll have a little think about that Let's get some diesel. Go pick up. Go pick up the trailer. Get a bit of work done there.
been to the shop because we've had to change our weight so we've had to buy a heavier weight um, so far we have rented the class front loader and the Flegel Ruby bucket with sugar beet chopper we've chopped all the sugar beet off the field and piled it up we now need to transfer it into the trailers trailer over to the animal dealership they're buying it off us now it's only just across this road from us so it's not far to take it we're getting better money for the chopped sugar beet but I did buy a 2000 litre bucket for the front of this and trying to scoop it is tipping the tractor over the tractor can't take it so we're going to try a heavier weight time's ticking on coming up to half past four December's rolling away from us um, once we've got the sugar beet sold I think we're going to have to look towards getting a vehicle to be driving up and down these roads with fuel tanks on both these tractors are quite small we've already used half a tank of diesel today I'm hoping we can make enough off this sugar beet. To buy as a, a van or a pickup of some sort. Maybe a trailer. As we're going to need January time, we're going to need to start doing a bit of field care. So this field will need ploughing. The, uh, we're going to need to fertilise both fields I think I might need to put nitrogen so we're going to need more equipment for that
we've got the last of the sugar beets finally scooped half eight at night so you may notice the um, the weights struggled a bit it's a bit of bouncing about but we got there in the end I wonder if this will fill up Will it empty? Oh, so close. We'll just drive that down and drop it off. I'm sure we've picked it all up. With the, uh, the weight it's carrying, but it's managed to get the job done. It's quite a nice view with the trees over there. Uh, we'll do a little bit of accounting in a minute, see how we've got on. I think. I'm considering changing from one day, one month to two or three days per month and speeding the time up. So there's a little bit more variation with the weather patterns. It's not overly realistic. <laughs> it's said good. I don't think it's that realistic because it's sort of you get rain for what is it equivalent of a few days in the month but in realistic terms it's a few hours on the clock so I might adjust it a little bit to give it a bit more variation might be able to structure the episodes a little bit easier with that as well instead of trying to base it around a month per video we could maybe do smaller bite sizes I just feel like if it snows during winter it's only really going to be snowing for a few hours and then it would disappear again and that just wouldn't happen in England In January, we, or whichever month it is, if I make these changes, we'll get this field ploughed. I want to try and clear some of this brush away in this section to see exactly how much room there is. Let's have a bit, a bit of moving around with them bits. Uh, do I need to wait? We'll be coming back up this way anyway, so we'll drop the weight off. Oh, I've got that. But I've got the diesel canister. Might I'll put it in. We are running a bit low, but then we are only down the road from the station, so we can fill it up. Let's drop this off.
a bit of ploughing, field prep. Still need to uh, utilise those bales as well, the silage we just don't need. We could probably sell that. Definitely look towards getting a a vehicle. Maybe a trailer as well. And we need to check the I've got the greenhouse and everything as well. I need to I'm also thinking See what bits and bobs we can get done around the allotment area that we now live on. Right, let's have a little look at how much sugar beet that field actually enters. Um, December. Four thousand seven hundred on that. Four um, thousand off harvesting. That's really good, actually. Not just off the sugar beet. I don't think we did any of the harvesting, did we? That's really, really good. So we we'll pop these back. Switch to the Massey. We'll get some diesel in that ready for the morning. Head back to our home. See, uh, see what our indoors think of the the home she's got to stay in it should all be fine for the morning Uh, I think we'll head down tomorrow morning and get straight on with the get straight on with the ploughing And I think we'll probably look towards, I want to look towards getting another vehicle to be driving backwards and forwards with. However, we're, I mean, we've not got any other source. That's the only harvest we've got for the year. So we're going to need to, yeah, get some of the Silage done. Which way for the petrol station? It's this way. So we get some of the silage processed. And then we're gonna. I think we're gonna need to look towards. Having some sort of runabout that's keep these for the actual farm work. 
and then run around for the other bits and bobs. Quite happy that we managed to get that. Dealt with and gone. Spent a fair bit on leasing equipment, but the case of needs must. I think we should maybe be able to see the the trailer trailer caravan chalet chalet should be back from work by now so I think that's our green earth. where's the chalet oh the lights are on she's on Full tank for fifty quid. Take that in today's economic climate. Can I remember which turning is ours? It's not that one, but I think it's this one. Yeah. So all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you want to keep up to date with the next videos as they come through, click on the subscribe. And until then, Thank you very much for watching wowzers well, I'll add that to the list of things to do on the next episode oh she's cleared some of the bushes away there's another bike Might be in the good books. Thanks for watching.